Under the Local Authorities Election Act and the Municipal Government Act of Alberta, members of council are responsible to ensure that from the time they announce their candidacy uh, throughout and if they're successful in being elected and throughout the course uh, of a term on council, uh, that we have continuing eligibility requirements. And what had uh, occurred and council had uh, met yesterday, so April 21st with respect, uh, a special meeting of council was uh, called with respect uh, to the disqualification of, of Councillor Harris. Uh, it was noted uh, that in mid-March uh, it came to the attention of the City of, the, of Red Deer uh, that Councillor Harris was uh, unfortunately in tax arrears. Uh, uh, he did uh, pay, subsequently pay those taxes uh, and under the, uh, even though the Act calls for a Councillor to resign once they are disqualified, uh, he opted not to resign. So that ultimately put the issue uh, in Council's hands. I guess it's Matt saying, I'm not resigning, then the council has to make a decision. Is that what, is That's that, right. what that, that what meeting was last night? Yes, and so ultimately there was a special meeting of council. Uh, council had a number of options, obviously, in terms of the public interest. Uh, we had a duty to respond to the issue. Uh, and so council deliberated for many, many hours, uh, looked at a full spectrum of options that were available to us. Uh, and we felt ultimately landed on, uh, we came into open council. Uh, we, uh, Councillor Harris did not participate in those deliberations. We came into open council uh, and when we came into open council uh, adopted a public resolution uh, first and foremost in the spirit of transparency to the public uh, disclosing that, uh, that the disqualification had occurred uh, and council's response to that uh, which was ultimately the public disclosure of that disqualification uh, and a sanction uh, given the oversight role uh, that the audit committee has, uh, Councillor Harris was removed from that audit committee. The Municipal Government Act is very clear that when there is an act of disqualification that the councillor must resign. And then the act goes on to say uh, that if the councillor doesn't resign, as in this case, Councillor Harris uh, chose not to resign, uh, then the council, uh, then it triggers other events where the council may. <laughs> And so then that was really uh, in the space in, in the special meeting of council where council needed to look at that full spectrum of options available to us. Uh, we knew that the public would uh, have an expectation uh, for us to respond uh, to the matter. Uh, and so we landed uh, the decision that we did and, and tried to weigh out the circumstances the best that we could. Uh, one of those options that was available to council, there was the full spectrum uh, to, of, of how, how much disclosure to uh, a referral to the courts. Uh, council opted not uh, to do a court referral uh, due to a variety number of factors. All the case law that we looked at, uh, the courts have shown reticence to actually remove uh, elected members from office. Uh, and council had deliberated the costs and impacts of, of a court proceeding uh, and so ultimately landed on uh, public notice of, of the disqualification, uh, but also uh, imposed the sanction around the removal from the Oversight Committee of Audit. It's important to note though, uh, and I think that this is you know, an important uh, question you know, that the public will likely have questions around, or only a judge can really, can really do that, um, or if, if, if the electorate dis decides to pursue the matter further.